Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a quick review for you of this James Donkey gaming mouse. So James Donkey is a company in China. They make uh, two different mouse. Uh, this is the latest version. They have a cheaper version that's about $15. This one is about $50 total. The first mouse won some international work or something. I tested that mouse out. It works pretty well, but of course it's a budget mouse so they have some downfall. You can also check my review on that uh, on my channel. Anyway, when this mouse, it comes with a very neat design uh, in that that you can uh, change basically a lot of different uh, plates on this mouse. So for example here, you can take this uh, palm grip side off, you can also take the uh, pinky grip off, and then you can also take the palm grip off right here, just like that. Of course the bottom, you can also uh, change this out to another plate. So the reason I have the box here is I want to show you guys what come in the rest of the box here. So if you open up, inside you get a piece of paper, kind of telling you that thank you for purchasing this uh, mail from Jisoo. Uh, this is the company that distributed it. Uh, you do have to get the driver, which is here. It's not included in the thing, so you have to go to uh, www.jisoo.net to download the driver. And inside, you also have this little kind of uh, diagram. Just show you all the different pieces. As you can see here, it's in Chinese and also in English. And you can see some of the specification here. Just use the Avago 9800 DPI sensor. You have a maximum DPI of 8200 and the maximum polling rate of about 1000 Hz. The uh, cable on this mouse is about 5 feet long and uh, these are some of the parts that you have here. So you have here 3 pinky piece, 3 thumb piece, uh, 3 armrest piece and then 2 bottom blade. Underneath you have this nice little box. Of course uh, I wish this box was a little bit better because the box kind of falling apart but inside you have this nice little compartment. I wish there was a plastic cover on this so that you can just take this around but anyway this is the rest the part so here's one that I use already here's the other two piece of uh, thumb dress and then here's your two uh, palm rest and then here's your two pinky dress on your side along with this uh, bottom plate so if you're into gaming especially playing a lot of FPS or something and you use an aluminum mouse pad you will find that this is very nice because this is designed to be used with the aluminum mouse pad and it glide very well if you try to use this on a regular wood table it's not gonna glide it's good so that's why you want to use this one here this one has Teflon and that's the one that most people will use with regular cloth mouse pad but yeah if you have an aluminum mouse pad this is what you want to use so on the left side here where the thumb is there is a button this button can be configured to use for various different things and you can actually use the other plate here this plate here has the thumb button forward so you can just swap this out and have your thumb button forward here and then there's also one that does not have a button here you have your scroll wheel it does have a tactile feedback but it's, it's somewhat loose and then uh, you can also click on that of course and then you have two buttons here one is for DPI switching while the other one is for like a profile switching in the middle here you have this LED bar and this LED bar here will change the different color and you can configure it to do kind of like a Knight Rider a kit uh, moving around or you can do a pulsating and there's a few different more you can do with that uh, on the right side it is the pinky side and you can replace that with uh, different uh, part. Notice that all these parts here they have different uh, kind of uh, connector to them and you can see here the pin for the connector and this connector and give some of these uh, pieces uh, functionality. Uh, for example this piece here gives you the thumb in the back and then the back plate you can get this one here. This one here has the LED color while this one does not and uh, one of these also has sound and also has vibration so you can have vibration when you click it give you haptic feedback. I didn't like the haptic feedback that much it's kind of weird and it doesn't feel that nice it's just like too much vibration and it's not really localized so I didn't use it that much. The sound is kind of annoying and I can show you some of those in a minute here. I think one thing I set this mouse apart from a, a lot of other mouse of course is your ability to configure this. There's only a few mouse on the market that can do this. Uh, some of the other one on the market costs like 150 bucks so for $50 you're getting all of these um, functionality which is quite nice and customization. The uh, only thing about the customization is that uh, depending on how big your hand is, you might want to use the smaller or bigger piece. The problem with that is uh, when you're switching out those pieces, they do different functionality. So not all of them will have sound or not all of them will have uh, you know, haptic feedback. So if you want, let's say, a large one, uh, you will install a large one, but then you lose the sound. So that's kind of like a thing. But uh, of course, if you don't care about those functionality like I don't, uh, you just basically have picked the right one that fits your hand really well. And I really like this one. As you can see here, even this one has a nice Teflon wrap on the palm grip here, so it's nice. However, if you use an aluminum mouth pad, you will notice that this become useless because then that doesn't glide as well on the aluminum mouth pad compared to the other pay plate. I do want to point out when you install the drivers, you're not surprised. Uh, the driver here is in Chinese, as you can see. Uh, just installation process, just click next and install it in your default directory, and after that, it's done. So, here's the software the first time you launch it. Of course, it's default to Chinese, so uh, don't panic. Just at the bottom here, click on this little thing and change to English. 
and after that everything is in English as you can see. You have these six different profiles that you can pick from as you can see you can pick different profile and each of those profile you know correspond to a uh, setting of your mouse or your configuration or your DPI and everything. Here you have all the different buttons that you can switch between. So on your side here you have the custom button where you can pick a button or an event or whatever here. So for example if I wanted to make this the backward button I can just click on it and then drop it here and that make that the backward button as you can see just like that and it's ready. And uh, same thing with the forward. So if I want to change the forward button here to something else for example let's make it a, a play button for example here. The media play and pause I can click on it, drag and drop to the forward button drop it down and now it's uh, good so you just have to hit apply and then the mouse is ready to go because of the different plate that does different thing you do have a different option here so if you press the up and down arrow key here it will change so you can see here this is with the back button that's what I'm having right now uh, unfortunately it doesn't really automatically detect but you have two different three different modes here you can pick from so here down the performance you can set different DPI of course for various different settings so right now uh, we have the first DPI setting we can change to a thousand we can increase it more if we want to and uh, on the mouse itself, here, here you can see there's the first DPI, here's the second DPI, and third DPI. So you can change these to whatever, and then press save, and that will save to the mouse. Uh, if you go over here at the bottom, of course you have the different theme. So uh, this is the theme light, this is the medium light that I was telling you about earlier. So if you click Dream a Scan, it does a little scan, it does a little Night Rider, those are two different modes that it has. Uh, so with that Boot Cycle or Star, if you boot on Cycle, it will automatically move around all the time. If you only do it on Star, it will only do that when the mouse first come on. Uh, you will also notice here while I was doing that either Night Rider or the scanning, it will also uh, does it a little bit and it will show you what DPI you're setting currently you under. So right now you're in kind of middle of the DPI, so about two or three thousand here. So there's the tail light, you can pick different color, you can have constant breeding, uh, DPI settings and uh, those are some of the other options. A jitter, yes, is basically that uh, haptic feedback I was telling you about. So when you click the fire button, which is your uh, click button or your fire button here, you can have this uh, set uh, and it will vibrate. Uh, I'm not really using that. There's also a sound button which you can do the buzzing, the uh, lightning sound and then disable. You see this is changing the different profile and different profile also come with different DPI. The button up top is a DPI button, so you can press that and just change the DPI and keep your profile the same. You have a little LED indicator here to show the six different DPI. So we're on the fifth one, we we'll click it again to see the sixth one. And if you click it again, you go right off back to the first one. Uh, at the bottom here, you can also save your different profile and load it up and uh, that can all be done here and then you can reset. You can also do macro of course down here. You can um, do a macro setting, bring up this menu here and you can basically make different macro that uh, incorporate keyboard. So for example here, we can click the custom macro and then we can do a record here. And we can hit the record button and then we can type stuff and when we press stop it will say to that macro and you can assign that macro into one of these buttons here. So I have used mouse for roughly about a month and uh, the first week and a half or so I use it exclusively at work. So I just use it for everyday application, uh, you know, using office, uh, email, surfing the net, etc. And I did not play game at all. And after that I spent about two weeks or so playing game on it. I mostly just play CSGO and yes, my works pretty well for me. I like the fact that you can switch uh, the DPI really quick. So uh, when you know you're just running around, you can have a higher DPI and when you're sniping you can lower your DPI and I find that very useful when you smell. Uh, this is the exact configuration that I like. I like the um, big side for the bottom and also a small uh, pinky rest and a palm rest with the button in the back and that's the one that I like the most about. I did notice that there's some LED light at the bottom here and some on the front here but these LEDs are not configurable which is uh, somewhat sad for me. I wish they were. Um, I tried different setting but it doesn't seem to do anything only you can change this little LED to do different thing but I wish these you can change color them because there's one on each side here and one on the front that look very nice and they always just stay white. As far as tracking performance I find this mouse works very well of course I'm always setting it on a thousand hertz so I, I'm not worried about the lag and I do enjoy the fast polling rate. The mouse did not miss a beat for me doing my uh, experience playing game. I find this mouse for me a claw grip works pretty well and uh, overall it's a very nice mouse. The only thing that this mouse does not do is that you cannot uh, basically change the weight. Uh, I mean you can change the weight by adding different blade and different thing and that kind of slightly change the weight. There's really no middle weight that you can add to uh, make the mouse really like or really heavy. So if you're looking for something like that you might find that this is lacking for that. But overall it's a very nice mouse for 50 bucks you are getting a mouse that's very configurable and is able to uh, change to various different size and shape and also the DPI settings are very very nice. The software could be a little bit better of course it comes in Chinese as I showed you before but you can just switch that to English 
English. So I hope you short little review, help you in your purchase decision. If you have any question, let me know in the comment below. And as always, stay tuned for future review. Thank you.